Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? I'm gonna take an old blackboard that got kind of beat up and I'm gonna transform it for a really cute blackboard for my sewing section when I need to take notes. Let's get started. So this was an old chalkboard that I had, numbers that I had glued down and I decided I was tired of that. So I took those off. You can see it's a little bumpy, but I tried to sand it down. But we're gonna make this a new piece of art. The first thing I'm gonna do is paint it black again. It's actually chalkboard paint, not chalk paint. I wanna be able to use as a chalkboard. I don't mind the brush strokes in this because this board is so bumpy and it is not going to look pristine anyway that I just don't mind. But if I was doing something I really wanted smooth, I would probably use a roller and roll it on. Okay, I'm gonna let this set and dry and then we'll get back to it. I let the blackboard dry. I can see where my dots were, but I don't mind that. I am going to use this a low tack tape to hold your stencils down, especially when there is so much detail in them. And it just helps keep it in place. And I also like to do this when I'm gonna be really close to an edge and I don't want my stencil brush to get over the edge of it. So today I decided I'm gonna use my white liquid erasable chalk ink. I have it on my pad and I added a bunch extra to this pad and I'm putting it on my stencil brush. What's great about this is it is erasable. And you have to get it wet, but if you let it dry, it stays on there and it won't rub off like regular chalk. And I'm just gonna do a pouncing up and down. This is a very, very detailed stencil, so that's one reason I am not going to swish around and I'm gonna go carefully over these edges. So one thing I like about using my pad with the stencil is usually I would put my brush into my paint and then I have to offload it. This, I reloaded ink over here and then it's a little drier over here so I can just offload right back onto the pad and I'm not gonna have huge, huge blobs of paint or ink. So I'm just gonna take my tape off here. Okay, so I've got this part done. I wanna let it set and dry. And you also have to give your chalkboard about 24 hours before you put your chalk on it to prepare your board. So I am gonna see these bumps when I chalk it, but I think that's gonna make it even look cooler. So I'm gonna let this set, let this dry. And in 24 hours, I'm gonna take my chalk and rub it all over the whole board and then wipe it down. So I'm just using some chalk and rubbing over my board. When you put chalk over your board, it prepares it. And then when you start writing with chalk, you don't have that dark ghosting when you try to erase it. This board is pretty bumpy, but I don't mind. Even though I'm not going to be chalking in between these letters, I want it kind of make it all look uniform. Soft, hot, or something soft. Okay. So I hope you saw just that. adding a little bit of image onto it. Um, I think this is just gonna be such a fun piece in my sewing section. I can even draw lines or just write notes. Hope you try this, but have fun.